Well, it's been years in the making and it's happening right here in Colorado. Dream Chaser, the world's first commercial space plane, is being built at the Sierra Space Facility in Louisville. And it's the company's first large scale contract with NASA. The plane is set to launch into space next year. Now I had the chance to take an exclusive behind the scenes look at Dream Chaser being put together piece by piece. The next industrial revolution is happening just 250 miles above our heads in space, and Dream Chaser is part of that, what's being called the orbital age. The primary purpose right now is for our NASA contract. We have seven missions to and from the International Space Station to take cargo to the astronauts on board. The senior vice president of mission assurance at Sierra Space, Angie Wise, says Dream Chaser will be doing at a minimum those seven missions. What's unique about this commercially accessible space plane is that it will land on a runway, unlike some capsules that crash into the ocean or on land. With a runway landing, it provides a more gentle reentry and also immediate access to the cargo on board. Denver 7 toured the production floor where Dream Chaser is in the process of being built right now. They're installing the thermal protection system and the landing gears. The thermal protection system are the black tiles on the plane. Wise says those tiles absorb all the heat during re-entry into the atmosphere. This is the volume that has all the electronics that no crew member needs to have access to during flight but it was allows it to fly. No astronauts will be on board when it launches in 2023 and it will stay on the space station for 35 to 75 days before flying back to Earth without a crew. We have the guidance, navigation and control all on board the vehicle so that it knows how to fly itself back to the runway. Another thing that's unique about Dream Chaser, it can be used, then refurbished, loaded back up with cargo and launched again and again. CEO of Sierra Space, Jeff Babion, says the opportunities with Dream Chaser are endless. In our future, we have a Dream Chaser DC 200 version where we will bring uh, crew first hopefully uh, astronauts to the International Space Station. And eventually deliver cargo to any major airport. Let's say we brought up an experiment for a biopharma lab. We could deliver that right down to the runway closest to the city that they're working in. Angie Wise says new projects like Dream Chaser could eventually allow us the opportunity to discover new technologies that could benefit life on Earth. Technologies like new medicine and even 3D manufacturing. This is the start of, I would consider, a new revolution of space. It's just incredible. Now, once Dream Chaser is finished, it will be sent to NASA's Glenn Research Center in Ohio, where it will undergo an environmental test series. Then it will travel down to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida for her launch next year.